$100, testing $200. Well, um, you're supposed to have a monthly budget, which I've been doing, and every month my whole strategy changes, but I still come up with a monthly budget. So this time I've got a new strategy, and that is to use one credit card for my bills, all my bills, one credit card. Then at the end of the month, I'll pay that off, except for maybe a $10. And repeat, so one credit card is going to be for bills. One credit card is going to be for debt snowball. Then at the end of the month, I pay that off and repeat. Then I have about $109 for auto payments as far as savings. And then that will leave about... $91 to do miscellaneous. I can save, do whatever I want to with that. The last uh, $91. So that's my new strategy. Probably um, I'll be implementing that this month and then continue next month and see how it goes. But hopefully that'll be my last strategy change because every month I do have my a budget. I do come up with a budget and I put a name for every dollar. So um, that's the financial plan starting this month. And then I do my, I'll be doing my August vegetables and my July vegetables. I went to the farmers market, and th that stuff was really fresh. I only spent about twenty five dollars, but it was fantastic. The stuff was so fresh, it was unbelievable, and I enjoyed that a lot. So that's about all I have. Uh, that's my new strategy. <laughs> but I always stick with that monthly budget regardless. Something has to come. It may not be perfect, but I will do that monthly budget. But this is a strategy that I'm going to use, um, including my credit cards. And it's supposed to be, that way it be easier. I can um, maneuver and navigate easier. And then I'll know where every dollar is going. So that's the point of that. Okay, well, have a great day and uh, enjoy uh, the rest of the summer. God bless you. Bye. I'm running to get those bills paid.